Happy Halloween, everybody. This is Steve Marinucci for Beatles News Briefs, and we've got a lot of news, so let's get started. As part of their continuing promotion for the new White Album set coming out on November 5th, the Beatles released a new music video for Glass Onion on Tuesday. The video is framed around the poster for the White Album, and it has the t- new uh, 2018 audio mix of the of the song. You can find it on our Beatles News and Information page or on Vimeo or on Apple Music, which is where it was originally premiered. Paul McCartney issued a statement Tuesday on gun control ahead of the midterm selection in the United States. He said, in the light of the recent tragic shootings in the USA, I hope the American people will vote to elect politicians who advocate sensible gun laws, unquote. According to uh, Japan Times, uh, Japanese fans there lost a bid to get a hold of some rare Beatles footage of the Beatles 66 Tokyo show. The roughly 35 minutes of footage was taken by the police in 1966, and they were hesitant to release it because of the faces of the fans in it. The fans uh, argued in court that it would almost be impossible to recognize those faces now, and they would be anonymous at this point. It's too bad. That's an inter- interesting thought that uh, the police have 35 minutes of footage. We don't have a description of what it is, whether it's s- silent or sound or whatever it is, but it would be interesting to see it, certainly. Uh, Klaus Vormann appeared at the opening of an exhibit in Los Angeles called It Started in Hamburg at the Naval Gallery. The opening also featured uh, Van Dyke Parks, who you know from his work with Brian Wilson. The exhibit, which features Vorman's cover art for Revolver and a lot more, it covers both past and present mu- the past and present music scene in Hamburg, runs through November 3rd, and admission is free. We have the Paul McCartney set from last night in Tokyo, the first of two shows at the Tokyo Dome that he'll be playing there. The second one is tonight, which actually is probably starting right about now at the time we're doing this, but... In any event, here's the the set. Uh, He made a lot of changes from his previous show, moving things around and adding things in. So I'm just going to read you the set. It's a hard day's night. Hi, hi, hi. All my loving. Letting go. Who cares? Come on to me. Let me roll it. I've got a feeling. Let him in. My Valentine. 1985. Maybe I'm amazed. We can work it out in spite of all the danger. From me to you, love me do, Blackbird, Here Today, Queenie I, Lady Madonna, Eleanor Rigby, Fu You, Being for the Benefit of Mr. K- Mr. Kite, Something, Obladi Oblada, Band on the Run, Back in the USSR, Let It Be, Live and Let Die, Hey Jude, Yesterday, and the Encore, Yesterday, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Helter Skelter, Golden Slumbers, Carry That Weight, and The End, the, the medley he does at the end of the shows. We have some Billboard chart news from the, for the week of November 3rd. The Billboard 200, Beatles 1 is number 74, down from number 154, and that makes 340 weeks on the, that chart. Uh, Abbey Road is number 183, up from 184 from the previous week. On the top album sales chart, Egypt Station is number 46, up from 41. Seven weeks on that chart. Uh, Vinyl albums, Abbey Road is number 11. Catalog albums, Beatles 1 is number 47, down from 38. On the Holiday 100, and yes, it's that time of year already. They've already got a holiday chart. John Lennon and Yoko Ono's Happy Christmas War is Over is number 20, down from number 19. And McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time is number 23, down from number 22. And the number one song for I Know You're All Wondering is All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. And when was the last time you ever heard a candidate for public office mentioning the Beatles in his qualifications? Well, Mike Schaefer, a Democratic candidate for the Board of Equalization in San Diego, listened his candidate statement that his son Derek has worked in management at the Coachella Music Festival where he's met a Beatle and the Rolling Stones. The Beatle, obviously, is Paul McCartney, who played Coachella. Schaefer also says in his statement he's worked with performers from Bob Hope to Frank Zappa and Debbie Reynolds and, quote, leaders from Dr. Sock, Dr. Seuss, and former California governors Ronald Reagan, Edmund Brown, and his son, and also current governor of California, Jerry Brown. 
I guess whatever works. And if you're into polls, uh, Albumism.com has a poll right now for the best Studio Beatles solo album. Not group album, but solo album. And they don't count compilation and live albums, so it, we're just talking studio albums. The deadline to vote in the poll is November 4th. A look back in history. October 31st, 1963, the Beatles returned to London from Sweden and were greeted by hundreds of screaming fans and a mob of photographers and journalists. Ed Sullivan was at Heathrow Airport that day as the Beatles arrived and saw Beatlemania in full swing, and it was at that point he decided to book the group onto his TV show. In an interview that day, Paul McCartney was asked if the Beatles would change their act for the upcoming Royal Variety Show. He said, we'll have to change it, I'm sure. We can't do the same thing all the time. We haven't thought about what we're going to do yet. When asked if they were going to wear suits or if they were going to comb their hair and and part it, he said, you never know, we might not wear suits. No idea. On October 31st, 1966, they were mixing Paperback Writer. On October 31st, 1967, they were filming Magical Mystery Tour. And on October 31st, 1969, the single release, Something and Come Together, was out in the UK. Albums released on this date in 1983. Paul McCartney's Pipes of Peace was released. Fifty years ago, the number one song in the U.S. for the sixth week was Hey Jude. The number one song in the U.K. the same week was uh, Mary Hopkins' Those Were the Days. That was the sixth and final week it was number one. The number two song was Joe Cocker's cover of With a Little Help from My Friends, which became number one the following week. Thanks to Fab Four Radio. You can get us just about anywhere podcasts are found uh, on Facebook. There's our Beatles News and Information page that you're welcome to join. We have a Beatles News Briefs, the podcast page with news about the show. And look for our That's What I Want Beatles store for links to to uh, get things that you might be interested in. Until next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying peace. <laughs>